So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own speech to text app in MIT App Inventor. So till now in our channel, we have shown how to develop your own app with the help of Tunkable Drive. So in this video, in a, we are going to learn about a new platform named MIT App Inventor. It's also like Tunkable Only. So it's a block coding platform. So let's enter to the video. So before entering the video, don't forget to click this red color subscribe button and click the bell icon. So because of that, you may get no more notifications uh, like this, okay, like this video. So let's go to the google.com and search for your mighty app inventor. So you at the first link you can see, right? Appinventor.mit.edu. I'll give this link on the description of this video. So let again click this create apps. So it will log in with your account after login with your account. So just click this continue button and welcome to MIT App Inventor. Get started with some tutorials like the ask. So let I can click this close itself. So now I need to click this start new project. So this project name is going to be speech to text. Speech to text. Speech to text. Okay, it's right. Then I can keep this day. Yes, a capital letter text. Yes. After setting your name, just click this OK because of that it will create a project for you. So then you may see then a uh, nice uh, Android emulator, right? So then this is your designing interface and this is your block coding interface, box interface. So these are the some options that you can see, and here you can search for the components. Okay. So now what I'm going to do means now I'm going to set this a screen one, right? This like uh, you can see my screen one, right? I'm going to invisible it for that. Just uh, uh, take this uh, tick button, tick icon from the title visible. So because of that, it will not visible to uh, in our mobile emulator. So then what I'm going to do means now I'm going to create one a uh, text. I mean our text box. So text box and height is going to be fill parent and width is also going to be fill parent. So how to setting both to full parent and enable this as a multi line. Okay, it is going to be multi line, and what we are going to do, we are going to do some uh, like styling, you know, right? For font bold and font italic. So then uh, font size is and all going to be fourteen point zero only. So then what I'm going to do next means I'm going to uh, take one button and drag and drag and drop the one button. So I want to see this button on the center. So what I can say, what I can do. So just click the screen one component right and you may do as is that yes horizontally on the center so because of that this button can be come on the center of the screen so then this buttons text is going to be listen listen is going to be the text of this listen to me okay listen to me so listen to me is going to be the text of this button and the background color of this button is going to be blue so not this blue let i may select as a custom okay this blue is too good so you may i can continue with that and the text color is going to be white yes and the width of this button is going to be a 200 200 pixels okay so then this uh width is going to be 200 pixels and what I'm going to do next means I'm going to uh, add and drop one uh, invisible component named is a media section. Yes, it's just inside this media section. So you may drag and drop this speech recognizer. Okay, speech recognizer, right? Speech recognizer and text to speech. So I'm going to create one another one row. Okay, so row after this text import. So for that, just go to this layout and take drag and drop this horizontal uh, uh, like, uh, horizontal arrangement right let's drag and drop it and uh, keep this width as a uh, fill parent s yes, it will be good and this background is going to be you know and inside this only i'm going to take the drag and drop this listen to me button so after that i'm going to create another button inside that a uh, drag and draw i mean the horizontal arrangement right so this width of this uh, uh, listen to me button now at the moment it can be 
automatic itself so after setting it i will show you if the 200 million pixels or i will keep as a some other so this uh, another one button is going to be speak so speak is the another one button's text so speak so in the speak uh, width is going to be 150 pixels okay, it will be good i think so also this listen to me buttons which also going to be 150 pixels okay let's again click this okay button yes it's really good right so then uh, i'm going to create this uh two buttons right it's real beautiful and let me can enter to the block section i think so so let me can enter to the blocks yes after entering to the block section whenever you supposed to click this button one so let's see what is button one and button two button one is nothing but this listen to me button and button two is nothing but the speak button and whenever you supposed to click this button one that time it is going to uh listen to the user right uh, so speech recognizer so it is going to uh, get text i'm going to drag and drop the get text uh, block inside this uh, button one when uh, this, this button one is clicked so whenever the next uh, button two was clicked that time it is going to speak something speak something to the user which is going to be his message is going to be this uh, text box text box text okay so let me explain so then uh, whenever after completing uh, getting text from the speed uh, from the user so it is going to display the result on the text box on the text box the text box is going to have a text of result so you know this yes it's result so now whenever you suppose click this button one means it is going to get text from the recognizer it is going to start the recognizer and whenever it was after getting the text from the user after listening to the user then it's going to uh, display on the text box one i just a text box right big text box and it's going to have a text of result of our text i mean text of the user and whenever you supposed click this button two which is a speak button so that time it is going to speak to the user what is in the bar text box so let me test our app now result so if i click this listen to me button means okay what is coding so it is displaying on the text box right so whenever i click the speak okay what is coding okay what is coding i think you can listen what well, it is saying to me that okay what is coding what is inside this text box even directly i can type that hi like this so after if i click this speak hi so it is speaking me hi it is speaking me like oh, hi. hi yes this is how our app is going to work you don't forget to try this app with your device so if you have a laptop one so don't forget to subscribe to Vishy Apps YouTube channel. So click the bell icon and I will publish more videos like this. So thank you. Let's meet on the next video.